Well, how's it going, man? I was bored, so I thought, come on, make a video. Something to do. Had a kind of, my air valve was kind of crummy and ugly and icky. And so, 2005 Peterbilt, 379X. How do you take out the uh, foot feet? See, there's the new air valve. First off, I took off this railing, right? So I can pull back the floor mat. And I actually could have put a cut in the floor mat right there because it's underneath the plastic anyway. So I got underneath here, and it's one of those projects where, you know, the worst of the worst, so you might as well see the worst of the worst, which works out the best for you. Of course, this goes in here. Oh, I'm going to pull on my nice little computer wire. Okay, so it sits in there right there. I'm under the floor mat, right? What you do is you take off these screws and Peterbilt used Phillips head screws and these little, <laughs> these little clips, right? And that's what holds that together there underneath, right? Clips on there and you put the bolt in, you know that. So they use these, but they rusted solid. So I ended up having to actually cut them off and, uh, I drilled them out to get rid of them, and then once I had it out of the way, I broke that off. So what you do is, here's your brake. That's your assembly underneath there, which will be bringing that back up because it's taken apart. So you take out the foot feet. Those few screws right there on the foot feet. See that? And then <laughs> once I spent the hours getting the bolts out, I'll be replacing all those. Then that comes off, right? And under there is your foot valve. And this is the new one. I'm just showing you. Put it in. And how you take this off, you see these little brass things? You push in on those. Push on them. This thing was so crusted and so wasted. This stuff is all green and rust. You know, it's, it's uh, you know the kind of rust that gets on brass, you know. <laughs> it's green and nasty. So all this stuff was plugged, but every one of them is the same. You just push in on the... And what I do is double D it and kind of, you know, work it back and forth a little bit. I actually put a... Actually, on this one, it was so bad. Um, I put a open-end wrench on there and tap, tap, tapped to move that collar forward. Where the heck is my finger? I don't know. But anyway, you get the idea. There we are. So I tap to put a and tap, tap, tap with my real lightly until that push forward. First, I double D it and worked it. And then you just pull back on the hose and it comes out. And when you put it back in, you just shove it in. And I took everything out and cleaned it. So that's the new valve. And that's under the foot feet, right? Okay. And I guess the old valve's in the. But if you look, oh, one thing I'll show you. When you do put it back together, all the orange hoses go on the top, right? And the green hoses go on the bottom in case you get lost on that. So, orange hoses on the top, green hose on the bottom. Let's see, what else are we thinking about? And of course, when I put this back together, it's just a matter of putting the bolts through this plate, bringing this up, put it in the... There we got one, two, three... And that's in the foot feet there. So yeah, if you're working on the valve, I just was bored, thought I'd show you that. So I just want to put that back together. <laughs> well yeah, nice day. Alright man, keep on wrenching.